Hello, members of the collective. Welcome back. It is the Cryptic Chameleon, and we are. I am currently playing Clive Barker's Undying. And I'm lost in the ye old monastery. Um, and there was a blood stain behind me. That was interesting. I think I've explored everywhere in this monastery. Wait, like, I think I lost a bunch of my progress. What is this garbage? Uh, no, that's not what I wanted to do. You know what? This, this is what frustrates me with this game. That at times you lose all of your progress. So that is, in fact, uh, frustrating. Won't budge. Uh. Ah, there's a monk. See, I killed all the monks. I killed all the monks before. Yeah, I, I killed all the monks before. <laughs> Somebody in my chat's like, wait a minute. Egregious allies, like, wait a minute. I'm like, yeah, we killed everybody already. So, but I'll take this amplifier. Oh, great. Here we go. Your skin is thick, Irishman. Uh, headshot. There we go. Yeah. Yes, that most of the movies do have vocals by him. You're correct. But not most of them have a large amount of singing by him. I already have that one at two. So I guess I'll... Move that one to two. Okay. I always love it when I have to start all over again. Like when there's areas that... Uh, I'm, gonna, I'm sorry, man. Uh, I'll take the health pack though. No, use it. There we go. Thank you for praying around the health pack. Does that make it a holy health pack? I can't stand the fact though that I beat all these guys already. And stuck. Now I have to beat them all over again. Yeah, new journal entry. Yep. Monday, transcribe. Tuesday, transcribe. Wednesday, transcribe. Thursday, replace window at church tower. Th Friday, subscribe. Saturday, transcribe. Sunday, rest. Okay. See, like, I already did all of this, and I lost it somehow, which is really frustrating. All right, I'm going outside. Kind of expecting to hear the the Halo soundtrack right now. <laughs> Although, or you can go with Ace Ventura, uh, Pet Detective, When Nature Calls. Sees, uh, so the second movie. <laughs> We got we got a well here. A well that I can't get in. 
We've got a random tower here. I think I already got the key, but I guess I'm going to go back in here and... What is this? Oh, this is the library. In the library, yes. The, li the library is a wondrous place. Love the stepping sound effects. So I gotta go through everything, so I might as well, you know? What's to the left? Ah! It let me in! Is that a good sign? Yeah, I'm going back up in the tower. Okay, going up in the tower. He has taken out this guy before he casts a spell on me. Nah, I already got him. Okay, good. So, that it's not making me do over, thank goodness. Alright, so I'm going to try something this time. Mm, where's the door? Oh, I still got to go down another flight of stairs. Here we go. There's a door. The door! Okay. Alright, so here's the thing. Have I ever gone to the left? What is this? All right. Nothing secret here. I don't know. I mean, that, that just seems like a secret passage waiting to happen. I mean, that's just my opinion. I could be wrong. I mean, I've been wrong before. I mean, I've been wrong before. Wait, what? What is this? Oh, I thought it was like a hidden passage. I was like, ah, sweet. I missed a hidden passage. All right, what's down here? <gasps> I have not been down here. And I can't carry any more bullets? Like, what? I got the bullets. All right, fine. Oh, that was the way out. Ha <laughs> ha, they showed me the way out. over here. Ooh, free stuff. Jammed. The door might be jammed, but I'll take all the free stuff from in front of the door any day. Any day at all. Okay. So what am I doing? I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm just kind of like exploring. Jammed. Oh, really? Oh. <sighs> There are few who deny it. What I do, I am the best. <laughs> oh, yes, I'm the best at wandering aimlessly through games. That's okay, though. That's Stuck. part of life. Is learning through gaming. Nothing in here. Okay. Not like I haven't been here before more free bullets. Here's the thing. So how do bullets exist? This this is my legitimate question. How do bullets exist in like the 1600s? I mean, bullets existed, but not ones that would fit this gun. You know, like musket balls existed, but not revolvers. Revolvers weren't invented until the 1800s, so there would be no weapon. There would be no ammunition in this time that would be appropriate for this gun. I'm just saying, okay? I'm just making a legitimate... <gasps> oh, I found something interesting. I found something new. Okay, all right. I've got to be careful here because I have a feeling I've got to kill somebody quickly here. Otherwise, they'll cast a spell on me. What is in here? All right, I use the Abbot's key. Ah, 
right, here we go. That works. It's another key. I got the gold key. And I got a health pack. Okay, so I got the gold key and a health pack. dead guy. Is that the dead guy that I killed or somebody else? No, that's a different dead guy. I like looking around. Yeah, so I killed the guy that was out here. Sorry that I had to kill him. But at least I finally found where I needed to go. Doesn't sound good. Like, what is that junk about? Something doesn't sound right here. Going back outside now. Oh gosh. Man, you guys have bad aim. If I could take you out with a pistol at that length. Oh, there's another one. What was that? Sorry. Coming down here doesn't help me much, but hey, it gives me a health pack. Did you hear that? Hear what? Oh, there you are. Sorry, buddy. I don't like killing monks. Especially because, I mean, if I go back and kill all the monks, how can the monks do all the stuff that they were supposed to do and, you know, mess up history? Like, doesn't this mess up history, me doing this? Doesn't it, like, royally mess something up? Because generally, that's how time travel works, you know? You, you go in the past, you change something, and then all history is messed up going forward, you know? That's... Usually the most likely scenario. Stuck. Okay. So I'm still I've still got junk to do in the monastery, but I don't know what it is. Maybe I can get some in some of the locked rooms now. I don't know. Nothing in the fireplace. <laughs> I still wonder why I hear water. That's interesting. Oh, it's a passage across. Oh, I've already been here. That's the library. Don't care about the library. I mean, I've already been there. I've already read all your books. 
I have already been here too. Although this area looks more like the catacombs than anything else. No, I'm not going that way. No, already been that way. Okay. So maybe I'll go downstairs. And what is this place? Oh, there's where the water is. Okay. All right, so I have been here. I need to find the thing. Now what's up this way? Stop flipping your gun. Ah, free health. I'll take it. I think this is where I re explored Won't earlier budge. today. Ah. Adelaide Luno! Welcome. Thank Stuck. you for being here and for being part Won't of the collective. Budge. Collective is the place to be. The chameleon collective. Alright, so this is not leading me anywhere that I haven't already been. This is where I ran into what I ran into last time. Hmm. So I did kill their abbot at this point. Like I said, in theory, now history should be rewritten because, you know, I killed a bunch of the monks. I'm wandering the grounds. Other thing I don't understand. So if I've been through the whole oh, monastery... Why is it that there are still guys alive on the second floor? Like, how did they even get outside? Because there's no outside on the second floor from what I've seen. Yeah, no, I've already been in this area. This is where I got the gold key. Mmm. Getting annoyed. With how lost I am. Since the door said wouldn't budge. Ah, oh, this is the door that would budge. Okay. No, it's the library again. Ah. This is frustrating. Oh, boy. Let me pull something up here. And I'm looking. Uh, Clive Barker's Undying Walkthrough. Here we go. And let me find where the gold key is. Okay, gold key. Return to the previous room. Look at the man's body and the window that's now open. Use the monk body as a platform to jump through the window. Really? And then follow the ledge section of the roof. Really? Like, why would I think to do that? Okay. So, actually, now I've got to go back to that area over here. Okay. All right. So, we're going to try this. Jammed. Uh, what do you mean, jammed? Thank you. Okay. All right. All right. Got it. Got it. Got it. No, nope, can't go that way. I need to go upstairs. Here we go. Okay. I see. I'm stepping on dead body. Okay. All right. 
Ah, jump quest. I love them. Let's see. Follow the roof to the other side. All right, use the monk's body as a platform. Follow it and jump up some steps, then follow the ledge section of the roof. This is not perilous at all, no. That is a creepy stained glass window. You know, most of the time stained glass windows are like something like religious or pretty. Th these are not. Free health. Wait a minute. There's a free energy enhancement thing up there. Can get up there. No, 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 no. I didn't want to come down here. This is an interesting series of jumpy quests. Alright, make sure my aim is on. No! There's gotta be a way to get up there. Take a running jump from the end of this roof to reach the highest section, then jump onto a small square near the amplifier. Yes. Okay. How do I run, Mike? All right, hang on, hang on. There we go. Amplifier. Ah, oh, I messed that up again. No, jump quests are evil. All right. No, that didn't work. Come on. No. It's got to work. Oh, that was close that time. Come on. Come on, thingy. You could do it. Come on, thingamagummy. Ah. Jump quest stink. I hate jump quests. Jumpy things. There we go. That's what I wanted. Okay. Jump from the square platform beside it through the open, the only open window. All right. So hand. Then you should look left to the nearby tower. Okay. So. That's this is where the amplifier was. Left to the nearby tower. All right, so there's the nearby tower, and there's the only open window. Got it. All right, so we made it to the next section. Yay! <laughs> All right. All right, I'm saving here. Woo! All right. Actually, I figured out a title for this episode. <laughs> Killing monks and changing history. Because you can't kill monks without changing history. The chant's pretty. On the background. All right. Aim high. Oh, come on. I hit you in the head. All right. There we go.
just jump up. Oh, there's the scepter. I can see it. See the, the scythe? Trying to take out that. Alright, so that's not going to work. But there's going to be a... Ah! Jaben, good to see you. See, I hit you in the skull. You're dead. That's the way it works. If you get hit in the head with a bullet... I'll take that health pack. I feel bad killing the monks. Like I do. Alright, so we gotta we gotta take this very, very carefully here. What is this? Oh bullets. It's the scythe! No. Give me the I can't get up to the scythe. I want to get up to the scythe. Why won't you let me get the scythe? Yeah. What? What is this? Like the scythe is right there. It, it should let me. It never be that simple, can it? Tell me it, it. It's not that complicated. Two other monks long climb the stairs on the right side of the room, then pull the lever. Uh, okay. So I do have to go upstairs first. Lame. Well, once I get the scythe, this playthrough video is over, but the stream is not. Oh. Must have already taken him. There we go. Now I can come down. Aha! Give me the scythe. Uh oh. This can't be good. That's what I said. Where did that monk come from? Ah, uh, okay. Interesting cutscene. I have a scythe. Uh, new journal entry. Okay, F3. I find this scythe of the Celt to be quite, er, quite a disturbing force. It's clear from the history of this weapon that it is particularly effective in exterminating the most heinous of entities. At times, it seems to pull me in directions of combat, almost as if it's seeking pain and destruction, wreaking havoc on my mana when in my hands for a long duration. It seems to replenish my health particular in a particularly frenzied fighting. I have learned to not fear many things in life, but there is something within this weapon that stirs a horror in me that I cannot explain. All right. Interesting. So, we found it. All right, that's awesome. Okay, so at this point, I do want to thank you for watching the video. If you like what you're seeing, leave a thumbs up or a comment. Hang on, let me save this. Um, and I thank you for for hitting the subscribe button as well if you can, just because that will uh, that will make you a formal part of the collective. Join me live on Theta.tv. It's usually. Saturday and Sunday mornings, 7.15 to 9.30 or thereabouts. Sometimes I have time is off. But anyway, I want to thank all of you for being part of the collective. Thank you for joining me here. And until next time, take care.